week I am working on a new painting and I'm really enjoying it. So I thought I would make a video and just share a few of the things that I think are going so right with this painting, which doesn't always happen. And I thought it would be nice to share some of my successes in this painting because I definitely think there are some things that could help you guys in your painting, especially if you're painting people and you want to get some really beautiful, translucent, glowing skin tones. I've found this great combination of paint colors that I really have fallen in love with and I just really want to share it with you. And I also want to share my son Parker. Parker, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> That's so nice. This is the painting I'm doing and this is a painting of Parker. And um, first off, the one thing I did right with this painting is I, I started with a good picture. So I was giving him a bath on Monday, it was just this week, and the light was beautiful. We have a light that comes into our bathtub and when the sun is just in the right position, it's just gorgeous light in there. So I went and grabbed my phone and I started taking a ton of pictures and I posted a few of them on um, my Facebook profile. So I don't know if some of you guys follow me on there, you might have seen them. Um, on my personal Facebook profile, not on my painting Facebook profile. But anyway, so um, I got this gorgeous picture of him, and that is, I would say, 75% of the battle of making a really beautiful painting is starting with a beautiful picture. And what makes a beautiful picture, if you're painting realism, is beautiful light, like really beautiful light. So a lot of times that would be during the golden hour. In this case, it was just the perfect light arrangement in my bathroom. And it was just beautiful. It just really made my son look like he was glowing and like a little angel that he is. So, um, so uh, really that's so important. Don't work from pictures that uh, a flash has been used. Don't work from pictures that just have meh light. If you can, try to get pictures that have really nice light. Uh, the better the light, the more spectacular the painting is going to be if you're working in a realistic way. Uh, those rules don't apply if you're working, you know, with abstraction or expressionism or whatever. Um, it's not a realistic painting. Obviously, that doesn't apply. Okay, so um, that's one of the things that really led to what I think the uh, will lead to success with this painting. And the other thing were, were these beautiful colors that I used. And I am going to share those with you next. So let's go look at them. Okay, so for these skin tones, these are the paint colors I used. Quinacridone Deep Gold, that's a Daniel Smith color. Windsor Violet by Windsor Newton. And Naphthal Red by M. Graham. And I discover a lot of new paint colors um, on handprint.com. So if you've never explored that website, there is a ton of information for watercolor artists on there. He um, does extensive experiments of different watercolor paints and um, looks at all different kinds of characteristics of the paints and grades them and explains them and um, you can really learn a lot about paint on this website. So this is the painting that I'm working on and as you can see I've got this supporting gray that really helps make the skin tones pop and that's half the battle and the other half of the battle is using colors that just glow and they're just really beautifully transparent. And what I like about this Naphthal Red is that it is really, really um, a, a pure red, but um, unlike Cadmium Red, it, it reminds me a lot of Cadmium Red, but Cadmium Red is so chalky. So um, I just, um, when I want a nice transparent skin tone, the cadmium red just isn't gonna do it for me. So look at this. So look how just um, pure and glowing that is. And then if we lighten it out, that's just a really great skin tone. And then if you wanna cool it off, I found um, th 
this Windsor Violet. This Windsor Violet really cools it off nicely. You wouldn't think so. You would think it would get muddy, but look, look how beautifully it cools it off without making it muddy. They just, these three colors just work together so well. Um, and just make a really beautiful skin tone. And you can use these three colors um, plus some sort of green to make a gray for your background. Um, that's what I would suggest. That's what I did. And I have this mix of green here that's just a bunch of different greens that I've mixed and they're just leftover junk greens. But that's how I made this gray. I mixed this gray in with these skin tones to make a gray. And it's just, I'm so happy with how it's coming out. I hope that information was helpful for you guys. And I will be posting updates on this painting on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Um, and I might do another video on it. Maybe I'll um, record some of my painting and um, share that with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.